Hello there and welcome back to this new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video, the Talo Nak Shrine, or whatever it is pronounced. This shrine is a tutorial shrine where you learn the basics of fighting. This shrine is also known as Talo Nak's teaching. In this video, I will show you exactly how to reach this shrine and how to finish it when you get inside. I will also show you how to get all treasures of the shrine. This shrine is located in the northern part of the Jeweling Peaks region, just outside of Kakariko village. Did you see the blood moon coming? Let's also skip that for a night. Come on! The easiest place to start is the house of Impa in Kakariko village. Head outside, go straight on, and just continue running forward on the path. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my upcoming videos and guides. Also, when you're there, give this video a like, since that will help the channel grow a lot. Turn to the left here and continue the path. I stream games like Zelda on Twitch. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description below. So come and hang out. Let's talk about gaming and other stuff. That will be fun. On top of the hill is the shrine. Now it's time to get in. To you who set foot in this shrine, I am Talonak. I share with you my knowledge that it may please Hylia. Talonak's teaching. Talonak's shrine. First, head left. There's a first treasure chest. Open it and you will find yourself an eightfold blade in it. Turn around and walk to the other chest. Open it and inside is a shield of the mind's eye. As mentioned, this is a tutorial shrine, so follow the instructions. A mini guardian is appearing. Use the side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Side hop. Dodge enemy attacks by hopping sideways. Target enemy, strafe and jump. Ah, the jump was too late. That one is right on time. Now flurry rush. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Backflip. Dodge enemy attacks by flipping backward. Target enemy, backpedal and jump. Perfectly executed the backflip. Now another flurry rush. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Perfect guard. Parry at the right time to knock an enemy back. Ready shield and parry. Now the hardest one. A shield attack. Too late. Too late again. Once again too late. Finally, a good one. This one will be really helpful with Guardians. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Charge attacks. Prepare and unleash a powerful attack. Build power and release. In order to build up power, you might want to get some distance between you and the mini training guardian, since it will keep attacking. Release and you finished the mini training guardian. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now, proceed. The door opens. Take the sword if you prefer. It's a nice strength of 20. Head through the door. Open the last chest and an opal is inside. Now walk towards the monk. 
And then as always, press A. Your triumph over the test of strength, of herbs, of prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. <laughs> You finished this tutorial shrine as well. Nice, wasn't so hard, was it? And as you can see, we also skipped Blood Moon. Keep in mind, the next night will be a new Blood Moon Rising. I hope to see you all next week in a new Shrine Guide video here on the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel, or maybe on my stream on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And see you all next week in the new guide okay everyone this was michael signing off now have a great week have a great day and see ya